everybody, this is Anime Game Otaku Night 5. Last episode, after we managed to find Nazumi, it turns out that the reason why she's putting a mask on all those people is because she's doing it for Alfred and his friends. But when Alfred and his friends were trying to tell her what she's doing was wrong, she took it the wrong way and thought that Alfred and the others hated her too, so... She went all crazy and we're trying to stop her and then near the end of the fight, I, I lost, but I didn't lose completely, I, I, it's just, it was just part of losing, I mean, it was part of cussing where I was supposed to lose at the last moment, and so after the fight, Nazumi went off to a different location, and now, before I go after Nazumi again, they added some few more side missions, so I'm gonna go do those first before I go after Nazumi, so... What's gonna happen next? Let's go play! Huh? Uh, wait, weren't you in the bow? Law, what are you doing here? That's my line, what are you doing here? Huh? I think I could cast off my bow uniform and live a quiet life in the city. There are many who hold a grudge against all members. They find me, I could be killed. <gasps> You got it good, paddling around with a hero, even though you were a snake eye, like, just like me. What does it take to wash my past as an underling of Venice? Do I have to save the world, too? Hmm. I don't know about that, bud. Law faces past! He worked very hard to find what he can do to make it up for it, and still does what he can. Windmill. Why, you... You're that woman they call Dane and Mage. You two are outcasts licking each other's wounds. Makes me want to puke. Well, you're making me want to punch you. Why, you? What the heck did you just say? I can't stand being near near you. I got better things to do. Damn. Coward. He's so lucky so fast. I'm so sorry you had to go do that. No. I'm okay. You have nothing to apologize for. But did you notice when he went towards a missile 224 and he was trying and failing to keep his bag hidden for us? Now that you mentioned he was holding something, so what? What about it? I'm curious. He said he has better things to do. He seems pretty desperate and if he's bit up a peel of judging for his past, do you think he may have something dangerous in that bag? I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm overthinking things. It's worth checking out. Let's check and miss out 224 and check him down. I can't believe that man said that. Could he have picked worse phrasing? I hope Rinwell and Law don't take his words too seriously. Both of them have faced their pasts and are now looking forward to the future. But words can still hurt. And we should keep an eye on them. I agree. Yes. Have you seen this business guy came this way? He was holding a, ba a bag about this yay big. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Law. Law, look behind him. What you got in that shelf behind you? Let me look. Oh, what does it mean of this? You're hiding a bag in there. The snow is way out of place. And I can see the bag. What? What? No way. I hit it good. Aha, you are hiding it. You trick me! Good grief. I can't see the bag, but that's the only snow that is naturally packed down, so it's pretty obvious. Ugh. You know the guy we're looking for? I don't know any snake eyes. I never said he was a snake eye. Ugh. So you do know him? What's in the bag? What is he planning to do to the village? Whoa, hold on a sec. There's something dangerous in the bag. This bag is full of rations, food. He never donated to his village. He's just looking out for his old man and gave me... His old man? You mean he's your son? Law. You don't need to be aggressive. You're, looking, you're making him nervous. Well... well, sorry. The truth is, I was also in the pool. I went to your son before coming here, but it was acting strange, so we got worried. If the food was all in the bag, then we'll leave you alone. Sorry for making a wild excuses. 
So you used to be like my boy, huh? Then I have a favor to ask you. Tell him to you tone enough that you should want from here and stop worrying about me. A tone? My son regularly sneaks into the village and leaves the food in front of the house. He must be feel guilty for sending me to the footlights. He sent his own father? Even though it was the story of the snake eye, he looked like he was hesitating at that time. He mustn't doubt he was doing as he sent others to the footlights. <laughs> Though he's no longer a snake eye, I doubt the others will forgive my son for what he did. So I want to run away and let someone say, it may sound selfish, but to me it was more to think that my son's being tied down because of me. Yeah, I know he said some nasty things to you, but can I go tell him what you said? I know what it feels to be bound by a past. I know how you feel. I still can't forgive that Rin Lord Lady even after all this. But being what you made me realize, I need to let some things go. So let's do it. Let's find the guy and tell him what his father said. You can wait here. Promise? I'll tell him. <sighs> Thank you. It's been love not having someone not to talk about this kind of thing. Are you okay, Law? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just thinking back on my time with the Snake Eyes. I was a serious mess back then. But I still can't believe I really arrested my own dad. Oh, Law. Sorry. Now's not the time for old regrets. Okay, for some reason, there's some sugars here, so... I better go over there and go get rid of them? That's where the former Snake Eye member was. Was it attack? You gotta be kidding me. If he's dead, imagine how his father would feel. Here comes some more. It's dangerous to stick together like this. Let's spit up. Kosoa and Dobby go that way. Law and I will be here. And Sion and Winna. Alfin, leave him to me. I just gotta tell him what his father said. I just got to. Law. I can't explain it, but Law sees himself in that guy. When Law looks at him, he sees his own past, his own suffering, and he wants to help. Windmill. I told you I know how it feels to be born by the past. That's why I had to, you and I had to find that former snake eye and clear up the confusion. Yeah, you're right. Let's go, Windmill. I got you back. Alvin, are you going to let these two go? I'm sure they'll be fine. We should get going too. Okay, let's get this done for a long windmill. <laughs> oh, windmill! Okay, I have no idea how to play, so... I'll just... I'll just go do my best that I can. Uh-oh. Put him side. Yeah, I we should have double check it with Windmill. I don't have any auto attacks that I could use. I better go save Law. Now you see what 
I can do. Holy land! Illuminate the dark! Come forth, holy land! I guess he has their uses now and again. Told you! Lies unstoppable! Oh man, this one monster's coming! the laser. Let me just give it of him. Windmill is a good thing I'm a high level than those monsters. I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Ten of us! Okay, there's some more, but get rid of them. Okay, I guess I could use the life bottle back. And lost knockout again. You gotta be kidding me. Let's see. Okay, I guess I could use this. Thank goodness you won't hurt. What? Law? And that woman from Orior. Were you looking for food to give your dad to atone? O what? How did you know? Well... We met your dad and he asked us to pass on a message to you. He said, you are atone enough. You should run far from here and stop worrying about me. Huh? He did? Really? Your dad was worried about you. That food was never meant as an atonement. But if I didn't try something to get rid of this skill, I was gonna go crazy. <laughs> I... I'm in exchange for my father. I... Leveled and ran away from home. I went through a lot after that. <sighs> I joined the snake guys out of fear that someone would turn me in. And sent my own father... My father... My own father to the footlights. I was my own dad too. You know that, right? Yeah, that's right. <sighs> I'm jealous your parents aren't both dead. I think you just want you to live. I don't want to die either, but it's my fault that Daniels in this place are so distrustful of each other. I sent countless people to fight lights, and one was to leave my father and flee. How am I supposed to live myself? Hey, what would you live for now on? Huh? 
When I'm struggling with my own emotions, my friends tell, told me this. The words always make their way into my heart, though my any anger and regret may be, still be there. Oh, I have a lot more life to live. I don't know if that words that save me will have the same effect on you. I don't think regret can be something to us to live for. So maybe your dad wants you to find something new you can live for. Wait a minute. I. I want to see my father. I just don't want to. I don't want pass my, his food. I want to apologize to redeem myself. Before that, I want to make amends with everybody else. I'll do that what I gotta do and keep living. It'll be difficult to earn the forgiveness of everyone you want. Impossible, maybe. I know. But is that what you want to do? Then you should do it. The ones you've done will always be with you. If you think you could do something to make it up for it, do it. <sighs> Law, you're so like me. I have made up my mind. I'm not running anywhere. I'll pay for what I've done, no matter what it takes. For what I've done, once I'm ready, I'll pass it to my father directly, man to man. Hey, tell me, is, that, is repentance the same thing as regret? Is it enough to keep someone alive? Yeah. I think it is. And besides, now that you're facing forward and ready to move on, you'll be fine. I'm so excited. Same. You guys are so encouraging, but I laugh at you like that. Thanks, guys. Sorry for what I said before. Work hard so I could live with my dad. I hope he can live with his, with his dad again. Yeah, listen, Wimel. Thank you for everything. You just didn't go on fire out, but me too. Just like Liu, I took helping that man as another opportunity to look back at my own past. <laughs> so I should be thanking you. I see. <laughs> Whoa, what's the matter, Huru? <laughs> it's okay, Huru. Law didn't do anything wrong this time. What do you mean this time? I had my doubts for a time, but Law and Rinwell have both gotten stronger. Yes, our concerns were unfounded. They've both grown a staggering amount. When we first met up again, I still saw them as children that needed my protection. But I was wrong. It's actually a little sad to realize. It can be lonely when those you once protected no longer truly need your help. But they have become excellent friends and allies. Don't you think? Yeah, I really do. Hmm. Say, I got a bit of a request for you. Will you hear me out? Hmm? Sure, what's up? As I mentioned before, the, the days of of everyone keeping an eye on each other has a lasting impact. The biggest issue is how people are treating the former informants. Well... They're still taking it hard for their past actions? Yes, the anger of those who lost their families because of them won't go away in a mere year. The civil sword has forbidden personal revenge, but not everyone is satisfied with that. A few extreme informant hunters has been attacking former informants. That's, that's nothing more than a pointless violence. Yeah, we can't let it aside, but it's not like people will voice a cut this concern out of the open. Sure, that was normal until a year ago, hiding your true feelings from the world. Honestly, I found it easier to talk to you outsiders like you. I'm sure the others feel similarly. I see. That's what you wanted to ask us? Mm. It is. Talk to the officials and hear their feelings on the formal informants. I like to hear everyone's true feelings from formal informants and those who hate them. Got it. Okay, we'll ask around town. Thanks. You're a big help. A local like me can't couldn't navigate those waters. Got it. We'll take care of it. Bregan's got it tough with so much to worry about. Let's do what we can to lighten the Silver Sword's load. Ugh. What did I think of informant hunters? 
Well, you asked knowing that I used to be a informant, right? Wait, aren't you the same guy to save you from the last week because I did? You're just here to get your jolly harassing me, aren't you? Well, I have enough of this nonsense. Wait, you used to be an informant? We have no clue. We're here on the behalf of the civil swords to get some opinions on our informants from the population. We don't mean you any harm. Some things may not be easy to talk about, but we want to hear you what you have to say. <sighs> oh, really? The thing is, someone is in town and told everyone that I used to be an informant. As a result, I had to endure all this abuse. I thought you came for your own first pound of flesh. Sorry. Though, to be honest, I don't blame them for coming for revenge. Hmm. Even with all that abuse? After everything I've done, I'm in no position to complain. I use others for my own gain. But then when I got informed by another guy and ended up in the first level of myself, what well, goes around comes around, I guess. Well? Is there anything you want? Like, do you want the civil swords to protect you? Hmm. Nah, I don't want anything like that. So, if you really want to know, this may be an odd answer, but I want to atone for my mistakes for the sake of those I'm wrong. Well, then, high up on a hunt to us, I'd rather make a mess in front of everyone. It's probably too late for that, though, so I'm just living here quietly. Thanks. Is that so? Thanks for telling us. The informant hunters? I don't think that's right. Well... Could you tell me why you feel that way? Back then, people were desperate to survive. There's no point condemning someone for making a mistake. I was informed on by someone and put on the force label, but I have no hard feeling towards them. Hmm. Even after what you've been through? Yes, though it was only because I was able to come back alive. It's sad to see people hating each other again after barely surviving, you know. I see. I feel the same. Thanks for telling me. Hmm? Informing hunting? Hmm. It's difficult to say in public, but I think it should be allowed. Can I ask you why you think that? Hmm. Both of my parents were taken out to someone and inform on them. I haven't seen them since. Oh, maybe her parents are dead. I mourned for them ever since that day. If it meant for me to free myself from that pain, even out. <laughs> I see. My sister seems to think differently than I do. <sighs> you know, sis, I hate informants too. I just can't, but I don't see any good coming from taking revenge on them. But it's the Venice who's really bad. Why do the Dennis have hate each other after all this time? Yeah. You forgive them then? No, I haven't. How could I? It's just violence won't solve anything. Right. You're right. It may provide some temporary relief, but it won't make your sadness go away. It's hard just to hang on to the angle for so long without an outlet for it. That's why they want to resort to violence. Yeah, maybe it's be I'll feel better if I talk to people around town with a similar experience, but that's not help happening. Talk to other people, huh? Thanks. Thanks for sharing the honest opinions. Both of you is helpful. No problem. <laughs> what the heck? What do you want? Right. We didn't need a little chat. No need to be scared. Oh, it's just been a while since anyone tried to talk to me. Everyone assumes I was an informant. What? So you were mistaken for a formal informant? Yes, a lot of people around me were taken away, but it wasn't my doing. Ugh. That sounds tough. Condemned for something you didn't even do. Damn it. Exactly! Why do I have to live in fear even after the witness left? People are winning so called justice with the informant hunting him, but what if an innocent person like me ends up getting an attack? Have you tried making your case with everyone? Ugh. Of course I did, but who would believe the words of a former informant? Ugh. I guess. If only you could get them to understand what really happened. 
There must be some way. No, I can't think of... Hold on, I know you. If you meet the others, please make the case of my innocence. Even though the Renan subjugation has ended, no one in town seems truly happy. Yeah, a year has passed, but they're still gloomy. I know it's not an easy thing to get over, but still. There must be something we can do. At least, I hope there is. I see. They have their own thoughts, huh? Thanks for letting me know. Now I have the idea what everyone's thinking, at the very least. Hmm. But we still don't know what to do. True, each side has their own thought. I think it'll take some time to solve this problem. Hmm. It'll probably be better if they can at least talk to each other more openly without us in between. I feel like getting is getting more complicated because everyone's holding it with their hearts closed off. It's just like you said, the long went in segregation and left the deep scars in his people. I wonder if there's a way to open hearts of the people like that. Bacon, you're beginning to work hard on a serious tough issue, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so. The only thing I look forward to is these days is to drink when I get home. That's right. A drink! That's it! Can we use that? Rinwell? Did you think of something? Yeah. Why don't we get all adults in the town to get over for a round of drinks? Obviously I don't drink, but adults seem to talk more when they drink, right? That goes to show they should let the guards down. Maybe they'd be able to say what they're on their mind. Yeah, you're right. Booze can be the easiest way to lose someone's lips. Yes. Yes, that might work. A lot of folks enjoy a good drink. Keeps the cold at bay. It's better than sitting around doing nothing. That means we need a chicken and a lot of it. How about it? We can get a chicken from the sugars. Let's go get some. I think we already got what you're looking for. See? Usually you're willing to give me these to me. Sure, you need it, don't you? Thanks for that. That's enough to make plenty of chicken. I feel bad for always being helped by you guys. Yes. It may take a while, but when we're done, let's have a huge party hosted by the Civil Swords. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone from all over the town will come. Oh, I'm sure. They'll come, lured by the booze. But that's what important is what comes next. It something can't be solved by the power of booze alone, is it? I'm sure there'll be a first step for the people in the town to talk frankly. Yes, I believe so too. Fire water to melt people's frozen hearts. I'd like us to join them on the day of the banquet as well. If everyone's drinking, won't fights break out? So what if they uh, do? Yep. No way to get closer to someone than having a good rumble, I say. You might be right. Maybe what Cislodia needs right now is a way to release some pent-up pressure. Come on, just a little. Why you? Not gonna happen. Everyone's in the same boat. <laughs> Uh, fine, lousy cheapskate. What did you say after what we've done for you? Hey. Cut it out, what's going on? Oh, it's you. Perfect timing. Let's ask the Blazing Shore, shall we? Shoots me fine. I'm not gonna complain on whatever Blazing Shore decides. Oh, wait a sec. Hmm. This kid is trying to get materials to repel his house, but there's a waiting list. Come on, I don't need much. I work for the bone and I just want a place to sleep after a hard work's a hard day's work. What's wrong with that? You think you're the only one? Materials are are made after performing to investigation into necessity. We can't make exceptions for anyone. Ugh. Well I suppose it's true, but Yep, it is. See? The blazing sword is on my side. No, all I saying this. Then give me what's going to the Moscow. That shouldn't be a problem, right? Moscow, you need the materials made for weddings? Uh, I suppose there's some facility there. <laughs> they put us to hell for so long. They can hardly complain if we do to them what they did to us. Now, wait a minute. Huh? What? You got a problem with that? You, the one who problem with the weddings. Yeah, just wave that sword of yours around and they'll fall in line. Ugh. 
I only wanted to end the utility. I'm not out for revenge. What? That's what you said, bud. I know how you feel, but but that kind of thinking the fighting will never end. You got to understand, you can't inflict the same pain you suffered onto others. I have no intention of disobeying you. It's not like we can stand up to the winners without you anyway. That's not what I'm saying. Why can't anyone understand Alfin? Why don't you people understand Alfin? I'm not getting through. It's not about what the blazing sword says. Yeah, it's about what Alfin says. You didn't drop Zephyr's name. I can't play that card forever. I do understand how both of them feel. It's just that... It's important to explain yourself using your own words. But it's just as important to rest when you need to. Let's call it a day. Yeah, all right. You look already all beat. Care to take a rest? Sleeping. Look at you. What the? Uh oh. It's Who said you. that? Ah! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Didn't I kill you in near the end of the main story? Weak as always. You make me sick. Full run. But you're dead. Yeah. So I'm guessing there must be a demon impersonating us. Full on. Oh. Then how am I here before you now? It's a dream. I'm just dreaming. Is that what you think? Allow me to enlighten you. I know the truth of this world. Friendship, trust, all that you believe in is fragile and fleeting. Stop. Those you seek to save are selfish and uncaring. You know it to be true. The only way to unify them... Stop! ...is through fear. Yeah, I'm not gonna take your advice, so I'm just gonna beat your city again. Oh my, he's level 100! Oh no! Uh. Ah! Come on, move it, move it, move it! Aw, oh, man. I don't have shield to heal me, so... Come on, mother! Now, uh, you gotta be kidding me! Uh, and I don't have that much of the items. Now, oh. Okay, let's see. And drag them to heal and grow with dominant them. Trample them and make them. Oh man, I don't have women who cancel his magic. Ah! Set your face. Take this. They got me. Double demon fang. Five. Damn it! You got me angry! Come on, come on, come on! I'll need some power! I'll need some power! I'll need some power! Coming through! Scarlet Inferno! Endless stream of beings to Okay, let's see. Let me just give myself some. Oh no! He's only using his power! Gotta make sure that Alpha's in a good health! Oh, 
Uh oh. Uh, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. I need to one, I need to one. Okay, just get away from him. Okay, let me just. Uh, let's see. I could use this. All I need to do is just stay in the air. Stay in the air. Okay. Now I'm just gonna. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa! Get away from him! Ah! For God, it goes backwards through like this. Okay, I guess I should save myself one more time. There. Oh no! Now, did I dodge it? Yeah, I don't want to lose myself in anger. Ah! Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's see. Okay, I guess I could use this. Only once. Oh no! Uh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, I'm too late. Uh, got you. Got you before that tag landed on me. What's the matter? No words to disagree. Are you so afraid to admit the truth that power and fear will always win over faith and honor? Or will it take the pain of the whip to open your eyes? Maybe. It's true that I don't know the pain of the whip. I couldn't feel pain when they struck me, after all. And I understand what you're saying. People can be selfish. That much I can't deny. They hide their true intentions to get what they want. I've seen it countless times. Even so, I choose a path free of oppression. So a refusal, then. At the very least, you have no choice but to use force if you wish to destroy me. Do I? Maybe you can be defeated with force. But that would make me no better than you. If you utilize fear to rise above others, you'll only live in fear of when you yourself will fall. It's another form of oppression. Hmm. You aren't Volron. You're a shadow born from my doubts. Even if that's true, I still have the power to engulf you in darkness. What will you do if not destroy me? If you were born from me, then that means you're a part of me. I'll accept that and keep on living. <laughs> Taking the weak route, are we? Go on then. But stay vigilant, or the night may come when this shadow consumes you. I'm used to your threats, but I'll heed your warning all the same. Okay, this fight was kind of easy despite the fact that he was level 100 and I was level 85. Maybe I got put off pretty lucky. I mean, for a second there, I thought this was going to be a side mission that was going to be impossible to be in complete. But I still managed to pull through. Yay, it did it. Good morning. Didn't get enough sleep? 
No, it's not that. Then what? I think I had a strange dream. Oh? About what? I don't remember exactly, but I think it was important. Well, whatever it was, you seem less tired than you were yesterday. Now that you mention it, I do feel like a load has been lifted. Good. Now let's get moving. We still have a lot to do. Yeah. I'm not giving up. And with that, I finished the side mission. Yay! I did it! I got a bony essence, so I guess that helps Alpha to be stronger. Are you, tired, Poodle? you sure he's not just trying to hide from us? What are you looking at? I'm not sure. The world in front of me, I guess. Nothing has really changed, but somehow it feels like I'm looking at something new. Even the stars are brighter. It's like a wall that was always there is gone now. It's hard to describe. Maybe your breakthrough has let you see things differently. You think so? <laughs> yeah. You might be right. Maybe I was scared. That people would be disappointed in you? Probably. Yes. But then I was thinking, do you remember the last thing Volron said to me? If you choose to walk that path, you choose that path. You choose a path of betrayal, despair, and corruption. I remember. If I kept trying to play the hero everyone wanted me to be, I may have ended up just like he said. Of course, I know this won't solve all my problems. I'm sure there will still be times when I face betrayal or despair. But I can accept that if it's the result of my own choices. As long as I make my own decisions, I will be the master of my own fate. It's strange how a simple change in one's mindset can make such a big difference. It's not like I'm doing anything differently. You freed yourself. It's been a while. But you finally look like yourself again, Alfin. Thanks. Thank you, Xion. Is that so? So, Al still isn't here. He's one of the friends you asked to look after your things and your absence, is he? He must be at work. He's the type who feels guilty when he has too much free time. Uh, Lord Dovely? And you are? My name is Luca. Actually, he let me in charge in his deed. Mm. I see. I appreciate your help. He's all. He'll be away for some time, but if you need something, I can assist in any way I can. No, I just came to see him. I'll come back again later. As you wish. I will load you as soon as he returns. <sighs> yes? There's a magnificent statue in the Sexton Temple. Before you depart, you must simply see it. Mm -hmm. What about it? He just bought the statue out of nowhere. Hmm. What if... Mind if we make a quick stop? Ooh, I got a new side mission. But what is it about the statue? A statue in Saxleo Temple? I have no recollection of any such thing being there. Maybe someone put it there recently? Who besides Dohalim would do that though? Yeah, that's so suspicious. What if this is a trap? This is a place he mentioned. Oh yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I don't see any statues. My lord. I see. I thought you'd be there. You guided us to me in the secret, didn't you? Yes, the truth is, Fona has been abducted. What? What? And Asriel has gone alone to save her. How absurd. Alone? The dummy, what is he thinking? 
there's more. He forbid me for mentioning it, but what? Tell me all you know. Traces are found at the scene, suggesting that culprits are the Denons. Mm -hmm. Sure, you understand, but if this news of this war is spread to the city, things can cook it ugly. <laughs> That's why he went on his own. He must have felt responsible for me and Tagen. This is the kind of thing he would do. Dohalim? Thank you for telling me the situation. Kaso, I apologize, but we need intels for anything related to Denon's and Gaius I want to ask. Thank you. Something must be amiss for the Renan's representative to come this way. I'll be, I'll get right to the point. A Renan has been abducted. A woman has it that the abductors are Denon's. Do you know anything about it? It's so small free for us to lay hands on one of you. <sighs> I know what you want to say, but there's no time. Please, if you know anything at all. Very well. But I haven't heard anything for myself. If you give me some time though, I'll ask around. Thank you. In the meantime, let's go check if we can find any more information on our way. <laughs> Lord Dothling, when did you return? Have you noticed anything out of ordinary at late? Hmm. It's not that reason, but more and more people are forward, forcing the grievances. Grievances with current situation? How Renners must rely on Dennis for survival? Sure. Yes, quite a few are wondering if we can't at least have the city to ourselves. Some say it'll be easier for your lords to grant that with a simple uh, single command. Enough. The era of one sided war by Renners is over, but that doesn't mean we'll be ruled by Dennis either. I understand, of course, but not everyone can accept that. <sighs> Seems a lot of the Renans still have high expectations for you as the last remaining lord. It's been like this since the Convergence. But living up to others' expectations is something I'm sure you can relate to. Yeah, deeply. Dohalim, I've been thinking about how you've been bringing together the refugees from Lenigus all by yourself. It's incredible. Right? It sounds like you've got a lot to deal with, but I never hear you complaining. Way to go, man! Each thoroughfare is a river. The aimless wanderers its flotsam. The rapids become deafening in their ceaseless roar. What are you talking about? Uh, is there... A dangerous river in Belizean or something? No, I think it's about a poetry. A somewhat idiosyncratic way of complaining. Huh? Which part? The deafening rapids represent the troubled voices of the people here. He has to listen to their woes every single day, so I suppose he must get tired after a while. Uh, okay. Though, to be honest, even with it explained, I'm still not sure I really get it. My hand extended to carry any burden, receiving but pebbles. He wants to help them solve their problems, so he listens to their concerns, but they only ever bring him small, trivial matters. How did you get all of that? I know! I would have I would have never guessed it. Sunlight, caught on sodden shadows. Tis no cause for shame. Wow, it sounds so mysterious. What's this one about, Kisara? In this case, the sodden shadows would be laundry. One of the Renans must have complained about wet clothing that some Danon hung out to dry. He's expressing the frustration he feels at having to listen to such petty grievances all the time. Yes, your inferences are correct. As a man in my position, I find it difficult to speak my mind. Looking back, my achievements in Menencia truly would have been impossible were it not for your assistance. I find I am quite inadequate on my own. Dohalim, you're a hard worker. You should be proud of that. I'd be glad to lend an ear to your complaints any time. 
Great courage is needed to travel the long road ahead. You, as ever, are my courage. Dohalim? Yes. Let's continue to travel it together. I don't think I need that one explained to me. I still don't get it. Hey! Excuse us, have you seen anyone suspicious lately? Huh? Anyone suspicious? I shall have the upper floors for them. <laughs> I see, but it's not like they actually done anything, have they? That ain't funny. Not in the last year, but have you forgotten what they did before that? No telling what they might get out of in, in the future. And don't even get me started with all the folks in the other regions. Sending all the weddings to the city only caring about their own safety. Then what are we supposed to do with all those weddings they gather here starting the uprising? What then? I'm sure the steps has been taken to prevent that. I think you're lying. The people here must have a lot of anxiety and frustration. I can't blame them for that, but it is still a difficult issue. <laughs> hey, I know you! You that blazing swords, aren't you? Did you come to drive up all the weddings? No, it doesn't look like it. You shouldn't be with a wedding lord if that was the case. I'm going into. Have you seen anything odd lately? Seeing someone acting weird, heard of rumors, anything like that at all? Hmm. hmm. Come to think of it, I don't know if he was up to no good, but this are an odd looking fella. A Denon? Sure. That's right. There must be a lot of folks around here, but he so stood like a sore thumb. He was real and kind of awkward, you know. Uh, who could it be? It was one of the people who adopted Fauna, but couldn't it be the Engo. <sighs> It doesn't matter. Right now we need to find out where they take her. Come down. I know you're worried, but you're not acting like yourself. <sighs> you're right. My concern has overcome a manners. Some time passed. I think we should check on Gailey. He may have learned something. Good idea. <sighs> Dogalim sure seems on edge. He is more worried than he lets on. We have to do what we can for him. You don't have to tell me. Kidnapping is absolutely vile. Do you have any leads? I may have something that interests you. I can't see it's bad news though. I mean good news. Late in the night, some men were spotted teleporting a lot of package out of town. It was dark and the windows didn't get a good look at them, but the package was big enough to fit a person inside. Some say the men were mumbling about something about the woods. The sign for woods will be the closest. All right. We should investigate. We, we finally have a lead. I say to avoid any unnecessary conflicts, I play for a speedy solution to your sol problem. Thank you for your help. Why would anyone be after Faria? Maybe because she's important to Dohalim? It can't be a coincidence, right? We'll know once we apprehend the culprits. Come on. Someone's there! Is that...? Yeah, it looks like someone got injured. Doe! What are you doing here? I should ask you the same thing. Have you gone mad? Running off on your own? I wanted to avoid causing any trouble while you were away. Sorry. Were the kidnappers the ones who hurt you? Yeah, I tried to get Faria back, but... I was too weak. I'm not as good as you. She's still alive then? There's no doubt about that. Don't. Listen, the culprits... I know. Avakir, you head back to Pelegion. Kisara, you're with me. What was that just now? It's rare to see Dohalim like this. Yeah. His silence speaks volumes. No time to dally. We need to act quickly. I'm glad I made it in time. I wish I could use healing arts. A 
Doggy Diddy are. Faria, are you all right? Do, is that you? Lord Dohali, what are you doing here? I should ask you the same thing, Lord. That's enough. Do, be careful. You would go so far as to disguise yourself as the very people you hate. <sighs> so you know. I'd expect no less from the great Lord Dohalim. The abductors are Renans? They slipped away with Faria and defeated Avakir when he gave pursuit. Though those two are not warriors, overcoming them would be no easy task for a Danon. They were attempting to frame Danons for the crime. My guess is they were trying to make me hate Danons as they do. Precisely. But that's only because you won't do your damn job as our lord. Well, he's not the lord anymore. Get it to your head. Ever since we lost Lenicus, we've been living like prisoners. Yet you only preach reconciliation, neglecting your duty as our guardian. How could you be so selfish? I am still a guardian of the Renans. But that does not mean continuing our rule. <laughs> It's just our luck you'd come back on the very day we execute our plan. We may have failed, but there are others who see you as weak. You had better watch your back. Do. You succeeded at one thing. Your intent was to anger me. However, the focus of my anger is you. Uh-oh, don't, don't use yourself. Any that harm my friends will be punished. <laughs> Do, Halim, don't. Yeah, don't lose yourself in anger. If you give in to your anger, you will be no better than our enemies. Please. You're right. His fate must not be decided by personal feelings. We will deliver him to Pelegian to face due process. Thank you, Kisara. You prevented me from making a grave mistake. That's my job, after all. <laughs> Okay, so I'm guessing we're the back to the city. Over to the authorities. Thank you, Kisara. That should be the end of the ordeal. After all that, I just caused more trouble for you. I'm glad the two of you are safe. That's all I can ask for. Still, I have a feeling there's more trouble to come. There are still plenty of Renans and Danans who are unhappy with the way things are. I'll have to come up with other ways to keep things under control. I'm counting on you. That reminds me, Avakir. I only learned of the kidnapping because Lentigar was concerned for your safety. You should learn to rely more on those around you. <sighs> yes, you're right. I'll be sure to thank him. We should let Ganya know the problem's been resolved, too. Let's go, Kisara. Do. Yes? Thank you. And... Hmm? Take care of yourself. I appreciate the sentiment. I think it's safe to rest here now. The culprits were Renans disguised as Danans? Their intent was to turn Dohalim against the Danan people. As a Renan, I apologize. Danans were being framed. Ganya, please no, Dohalim would never. You're quite the conscientious one, aren't you? You could have kept quiet about the truth, and none would have been the wiser. And that's despite the fact that you were the target of this plot. I believe telling you was a necessity. I agree. In fact, I feel the urge to let my fellow Danans know just how honorable you are. Ganya. I hope this relationship continues, takes root, and endures long after we are gone. On my name, Dohilim Ilkaris. I vow to do all that I can to that end. And with that, I finish the side mission. Yay! I did it! Are you thinking about your friend, Faria? I've ended up putting her through another ordeal. Avakir as well. They've been made to suffer just for knowing me. And it's likely this will not be the last time either. It's not your fault. Your position means Danans and Renans alike are going to look at you with their own individual prejudices. One side expecting the best, while the other assumes the worst. 
Much like what Alfin has experienced. I understand. No. Understanding is not enough. I should have expected something like this to happen. Whether it was to a friend of mine, or someone else. It was my responsibility. And it's my fault for not being prepared. I'm going to instruct them to reinforce security. Of course, we'll have to do so carefully so as not to incite the old guard. Did you think I would blame myself more? No. You're no longer your old self. I don't plan on going back. Besides, the situation wasn't all bad either. Avakir had a colleague who cared about him, and was willing to step forward. The situation is changing, slowly but surely. If things continue this way, it may someday lead to that utopia you spoke of. One where all people are treated equal. Though, I do not know how old I'll be by the time I see such a world. You'll probably be a hundred by then. You won't be seeing it alone. That's true. Oh, I got a bunny essence. No, I'm binding essence. Well, there's another side mission that has been added, but before we move on, I'm gonna go stop and take a break. So, until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku Night 5.